uh, in this modern era, there exists several laws and regulations that we all follow to maintain order in our society. Their mere existence is to preserve our freedom and prevent others from misusing their freedom to harm others. This system has been in place for a long time and has been quite useful. In fact, there's no one alive who knows what life was like when there was no laws. This leads to a question. What will happen if these laws disappear? Will people maintain their composure and avoid a radical change? Or will they succumb to the lack of authority and begin a chaos of immense proportions? Or perhaps a mixture of the two? An example of an answer happening during the Spanish Revolution were some group of people around Spain that were part of anarchist and communist movements after leaving the chaos of the revolution decided to create this communist free from the state, called collectivity, collectivity, where the one who were in the control of the community uh, were the workers themselves. And even though they didn't follow an, the laws and rules of the state, they would follow the principles of mutual aid and solidarity and will look for a more equal society, meaning that even of there were no writing norms. There was order inside the collectivity. collectivity. We propose that if a scenario where loss disappeared were to occur, a transition between chaos and order will occur, starting with chaos as humanity realizes the apparent lack of consequences. However, over time, Order will resurface, not due to laws, but due to social rules imposed by the necessity of a community. Before we begin, we must decide on our stance, which is that humans who desire to have everything for themselves, even if it's harmful to healthy coexistence, are also social beings who need to be part of a community to, to survive. The problem with this issue is that we always have a bias because we cannot know exactly what human nature is like to, to do so. We will have to observe a human in nation before civilization and technology, which no longer exists. Therefore, everything proposed will be theories because there is no way to prove them. Thomas Hobbes is the major representative of this movement. Most people think he believed that humans are inherently bad, but he actually meant that humans are not designed to live in large-scale societies. Unlike certain spe species of insects that prioritize the good of the colony over individual benefit, humans are selfish and what want is best for themselves, even if it harms society. However, Hobbes did not mean that large societies should not or cannot exist but that there must be some power that maintains order so that we can coexist, which could be represented by today's laws. On the other side of the coin is Jean Jacques Rousseau, who argued that humans were born good, but society corrupts them and learns them to be being selfish and violent. In this work, Rousseau wants to show that we were originally peaceful by instinct but equally and private property in both since in memorial time made us selfish because we one person see another person having something they don't have. They desire it from their own benefits. This led result to conclude that if the life league continues, they will be an immense chaos due to selfishness that will destroy the society we know by desire for more. After what has been said, it will be understood that a community it, it's what makes humans selfish and that we should avoid them. However, the opposite is more likely because the trench of humans does not lie in their brute force, but in their ability to create alliances and communicate with each other. In, if you reflect on it, humans are of one of the weakest predators of, on their own, but being part of a group made us the dominant species. Therefore, humans require being in a community to, to survive. And for a community to prosper, they must work towards a common good and establish agreements. 
these lives happened with every society established in human history. I can be concluded that no matter how much we were proposed by our instincts to want everyone for ourselves, that instinct will not last long because an additional to being that good go against their instinct. Such an existence of monogram and consciousness, we are also society beings that need to be together to survive and a community cannot exist without rules. Even if, our, if laws were to disappear, new ones will eventually emerge sooner or later.